All right, guys, you want the chance to get some of these overmolded cigarettes for your World War II minifigures? All you have to do, leave a like on the video, comment down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and I'll be giving away some of those in next week's episode. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Building the Battle of the Bulge in LEGO. And today, as you can see, I've already started working on these buildings here. So if we take a seat here in my chair, what we got working on is this building. And this is inspired from a building I've actually built a while ago. I built very similar style building i think for bricks by the no it was bricks cascade 2015 or 2014 and i'm i have a picture i'll show you guys that later but this is kind of what i'm working on and it's basically going to be eight studs tall i think this is eight two four six eight yeah so eight studs there'll be a floor another eight studs and then there'll be another floor and the idea is to have dark bluish gray accents on the corners and then the plates that separate the floors will also be dark bluish gray um i don't know if i have i don't really have any large plates to demonstrate that but it'll be something like this here um it'll give a good accent and then there's also going to be windows on these sides and then a door here and also windows up top that'll be lined with reddish brown so this color here and I think it'll be really cool. I'll show you guys that picture here in a second of the building that I'm basing this off of. But uh, I've basically got this back wall almost done. And then I'm going to be, I got to find the dark bluish gray, or not dark bluish gray, the reddish brown one by four tiles and then one by four plates. Those are very crucial for the windows. And then as long as I have enough of these headlight bricks, which I know I do, there's a bunch in here. This is all parts from vietnam and i'm using these for i can't remember if these were from buildings or what these were really for but as long as i find enough headlight bricks like you see there i'll be able to show you guys how i put up the windows so i'm gonna keep working on this i'm gonna come back my goal is to get as much of this done as i can today and then maybe even start throwing some trees on here so i don't know we're gonna keep working on this though and i'll come back to you guys when i have some updates Okay, so it's been, I don't know, a couple hours. I've been on and off working on the mock. A couple things. This is where we're at. Let's start off here. This is where I'm at with the building. This whole back wall is pretty much done. And then I started putting in the front door. I was going to put the front door here and make it like um, rotate at 90 just for the heck of it. But I decided let's go ahead and do it, um, I think, in the more proper section where the front would actually be. And then we've got the two windows. They were... So these are two bricks off the bit, um, the main base plate, but I originally had them one off and I have this figure here for a reason and that's because I wanted to kind of get down eye level with the figure and see what looks best. So it turns out having it a little bit higher looked better. So I bumped it up. So there's two bricks now. And then these are the plates or the tiles. They'll go actually upside down like this. And then there's a little trick that I'll show you guys later on about how we can get that to fit well and we're just going to build right over that so i'm really excited about how that's looking and there's also a reason why we're using plates instead of tiles there and uh, i'll go into more detail about that later and i was worried i wouldn't be able to find any reddish brown one by threes but then i found this in the drawer this was from the battle of the psalm and this is just this giant hill that I kept intact and there's a bunch of one by twos, but there's some one by threes scattered in there. So I was using a brick separator and snagging those off of that. So other than that, this is about what I have. I really like how just all this is looking. Um, yeah, I'm just really liking this back wall and I got to figure out what I want to do for the roof section, but, uh, you know, more to come on that. And then I randomly thought, you know what, let's get some trees on here and I'm actually going to stand up for this. So you guys can see it. And the lighting is really good because the sun's going down right now. But that's, I think these trees are going to look really cool. I don't know if I want to use, these are all from Vietnam. I don't know if I want to use the normal Lego green or not. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I kind of have to block the sunlight for you guys to see. I think the dark green looks better with the snow and then the dark bluish gray mountains. And one thing I do need to order because I don't think I have enough of is, I don't think I even have any over here is one by one studs in white and then plates so we can put snow on the trees and make them look like they have um, snowy leaves. I think that'll be a really cool detail, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you Should I go with normal green or dark green? I personally think dark green looks way better, but uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think. So 
I just set those up just to kind of get our minds, you know, started visualizing what those will look like having trees all over here. And then I started grabbing some other um, white plates from this bin down here. And that's going to be to make kind of like some snow drifts and just some little elevation changes like all throughout here for the tanks and for the soldiers. So that's another thing I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm trying to think. I might need to order some more like smaller white plates because a lot of what I have is like I have a lot of actually I guess two by sixes are okay luckily I have a bunch of two by fours I don't know where I got those but I have a bunch and then like I have a bunch of four by eights this one this is kind of a random thing this is a really old lego plate I don't know if you guys will be able to see it the logo is slightly different but you look at the back and this is genuine lego I've seen people talk about these on you know, different YouTube channels and on Flickr back in the day. But uh, it actually does work with Lego bricks. If we come over here. So it does work just fine. It's not as good as the current system. The bricks get a little bit stuck. But, I mean, it is a Lego part. And I think it's just kind of cool. I don't know. Um, it's a little bit looser on the studs. But uh, I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know how good the camera quality is going to be when I'm this zoomed in here or this up close. But uh, yeah, instead of having like, let's see if we can find one, like a newer plate. There's the difference, right? So you're used to like the holes and the peg system. And this has like square holes. So I think that's really interesting. So anyways, random little tidbit there. But I'm going to probably before I forget, I'm going to go order some of those white studs. I'm probably going to order like... Oh, I don't know. I'm picturing 20 trees maybe. And then each leaf, maybe five pieces. And each tree has two, four, six, let's say five times five, 25, 25 times, um, I'll probably get 500 just to be safe. And they're not that cheap. They're like probably three cents a piece. So let's go over and hop on to BrickLink and I'm gonna go find some of those right now. I barely do these clips anymore, but I used to do these more often. Let's go buy these plates right now. So we're gonna go to BrickLink. Gonna go down to Plate Round. Let's go this one here, 4073 is the part number. Go down to White. I'm gonna do 500 minimum quantity search. Wow, these are really cheap. So these, this is the prices, and these are all the different countries and stores that sell them, so it's penny. And we go down to, so this one's used, but I really don't care. Um, I mean, there's new ones there and they're the same price. So might as well go new. So let's go down to new. Let's go over here um, and let's do, so let's put in 500. Yeah, so 500 is only gonna be five bucks. So I might, I might get a thousand um, or 1500. Yeah, so. <laughs> And I have another project that I could use these for, but $1,500 would be $13.50 plus $5.89 for shipping. So we're under $20 bucks for a lot of studs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this order. And those should be here. The seller's from Florida. So probably get those by next week's episode. So I'm going to go ahead and place this order. Okay, one more clip. We're on my old Flickr. I don't use Flickr anymore, but I just thought this was funny. I'm scrolling through, these are old pictures. This is when my channel hit 6,000 subscribers. Guys, we're at like 82,000, that's crazy. So that, this was obviously a long time ago, all these different pictures I posted, and I'm showing you this because this is the building that I built, let's see, this was back in, it says 2012, but that's not right, six years ago, so this was 2014, and this was, for Operation Brickarosa, which was for Brick Cascade 2014, I'm assuming. Um, but this was a really well done building. I did this myself. I had a lot of input from my buddy Elliot, but man, I to this day, I think this is one of my best builds and I'm trying to basically replicate it. So you can see the dark bluish gray accents on all the corners. And then that's like that plate I was talking about. See that line? That's that dark bluish gray plate that's in there for the second floor and then for the top floor as well. So it's just a cool way. That you, and I mean, back here, you can see it's all open. So it's bombed out. So there's nothing in there, but I still put like a one by six plate lining all the way around just to give it some, you know, break up the color a little bit. 
and then you can see why I did the plates is because on the sides is so I can add studs in clear that make it look like broken glass. So that's just a tiny little detail that you might not think of that we're able to do because we're putting plates in there instead of tiles. And with plates, you can build off of them. So that's just a little cool little sneak peek at what I'm going to try to do on this building we're working on. But man, I... I remember when I tore this apart, I thought heavily about keeping it because it's such a cool building. Um, you could use this for anything, modern military or World War II or you know any really war-related thing because it's just so cool and battle-damaged. And this happens to be snow on you know all the corners and stuff like that. So I don't know. This is what I'm trying to replicate. I think we can do it. So I'm really curious to see what you guys think of this when we move it over to the actual Battle of the Bulge Mock. So guys, let's go ahead and keep working. All right, guys, giveaway time from last week's episode. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and then my mouse here will be the pointer. So I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm just going to let these load and stop. Boom. Thomas, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I really want weight of the mock. I think, I don't know what you're trying to say there, but you are the winner, Thomas. So feel free to email me through my website and uh, we can get that prize out to you. Just make sure you include a screenshot and then your address. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this week's episode. As you saw, we got these studs ordered for these uh, trees, and I'm really excited because like you can already see, just adding two trees when you step back, it's starting to add color that the mock is lacking. And I think with that reddish brown, and like I said, let me know if you guys like the dark green or the normal green. Um, either way with the green and the, the brown combination, it's really going to bring out some color in this mock and it's going to look really cool when we get some studs on there to kind of simulate what snow would look like. And I'm just really excited with how the building's turning out. I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys like the concept I'm going for with that picture of that really old, you know, six years ago, what I built when I was 14 years old, hopefully me being 20 now, I can build something similar in quality, if not better, hopefully, I don't know. I'm not the best builder, but we're going to be working on that, and then we're also going to be working on using smaller plates to detail all throughout there. That's kind of my goal. So my goals for next week are get some trees up, because I think that's going to really help this mock look good. Get some elevation changes, and then hopefully we'll have those studs to work on the trees as well. And then keep working on this building and maybe start the foundation for the next one, just so we can start to visualize things. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you guys subscribe by clicking right there. It's free. All it is is it allows you to see my next videos when they're posted on YouTube. And statistics show a lot of you guys that are watching this right now are not subscribed. So hit that button there. Check out last week's episode there. Check out the full playlist so you guys can see all the episodes leading up to this point. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.